Hello from the Catalan capital and one of the world's great cities, Barcelona. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Barcelona up against Leeds United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, I've been watching Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in various countries for a number of years, and Stuart, he rarely disappoints. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat, and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen starts in goal. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Piquet in the middle of the defence. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the game begins. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Rodrigo. A very good tackle. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Torres. Determined defending. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. A really vital interception. Teammate in support. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Can someone get on the end of this? Insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Christensen. It's with Diego Llorente. Rodrigo. James. Now, what can they do from here? Rodrigo. Mark Roca. Physically strong and secure on the ball. An effective challenge. Frankie de Jong. He's found a pocket of space. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome.
Underway again with Barcelona in the lead. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Well, he's given it away. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Into the advanced position. That's all they can conjure for now. Mark Rocca. On the ball, Mark Rocca. Oh, he's given it away. Obama Young. On to De Jong. Pierre Emerick Obama Young. Torres. It needs an accurate cross. Jordi Alba. And they could face difficulties here. And finishing, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, as you see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the player he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. Second goal for them here. Mark Rocca. On the ball, Mark Rocca. A chance to whip it in. Well, they keep the ball moving, and the post getting in the way, and denied by the keeper. Impressive. Now sending it in. Well, the danger is still there. And in the end, no damage done. As the stats show us, Barcelona have had less of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Harrison. Now with Koch. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. PK. Pedri. Rafinha. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, he's lost it. Rodrigo. And Rodrigo has it. Llorente. Good looking sequence. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Pedri. And Torres on the ball. An encouraging move from Barca. Obama Yang. Teammate in support. And an astute piece of defending.
Rodrigo and breaking at pace with Menace. Well, it fizzled out. Rafinha. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. Well, he's had a very quiet day at the office, Rodrigo, and he can't really hide from that, Stuart. Yeah, he just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. So the ball is rolling again. Barcelona having already made a big first-half statement here. Is there to be a response in the second 45? Sergio Busquets. Piquet. Now Busquets. Pedri. And Torres on the ball. Pedri. Sergio Busquets. De Jong. What a shocking pass, really. Rodrigo. And played the pass well. And players waiting in the centre. Good looking ball. Cuts it back. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Go kick. And they will make the change now. De Jong. Araujo. And very deftly cut out. Well, as you can see, Leeds have had the majority of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. How can he take them on and beat them? And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Short corner it is. The cut back. And Barcelona have possession again. Rodrigo. Robin Koch. And Rodrigo has it. Well read to put an end to that attack. Araujo. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Crossing opportunity. Interception to snuff out the danger. And that's great work to keep it in play. 
Patrick Bamford. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. So, making the substitution now. Will he play it in? But a crucial intervention inside the box. That is how to apply the pressure. Kessier. And he did well to cut it out. Decent position. And they could face difficulties here. How about the cross? And pull back. Could pull one back here. Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, really, you've got to say Barcelona in cruise control here, Stuart. Your reflections on their performance. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Well, no stopping him. That was perfectly timed and it is going to be a corner. And they're making a change. Let's see about the delivery. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Christensen, now Jordi Alba, a possession lost, intercepted, Llorente, for sure, Patrick Bamford, Rodrigo, perfect tackle, and so into the final five minutes, Pedri, Obama Yang, can he play it in? It might be. Well, he failed to get it away properly. De Jong, and a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Ailing. Jack Harrison has it. Rodrigo. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Throw in forthcoming for Barca. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. 
And that is that. The final whistle has sounded and it's a victory for Barcelona. What did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, a spectacular contribution from Frankie de Jong. Eye-catching stuff all round. Stuart, what did you make of his performance? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.